Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful bowl of oatmeal. Doesn't it look so good? I'm like so excited to eat this. So if you're interested in seeing how we made this, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so the first and most important ingredient of this is going to be our oats. I am using um, a half cup of the Quaker Oats Old Fashioned. Um, and I'm only making one serving because it's just for me. So that's what I have here. We're going to dump that in. The next part of this, you can either use water or milk. And it's going to be a cup of that. Um, I'm going to use milk. And I'm going to put a cup. So here is my cup of milk. And then... The last part of this, which I actually have never tried it um, like this before, but we're gonna we're gonna see how it turns out. I do have a banana here, and I'm going to put half of a banana in here. Um, so I've heard it makes it a little bit creamier. Um, I was going to mash it up, but I think I'm just going to do it this way. And then I can mash it together in the oats. This is kind of nasty, but <laughs> whatever, it works. So, yeah. I love oatmeal. I think it's super good. It does, um, I don't know, make you full for a long period of time. I'm actually making this for my lunch because I do have some of these fruits and vegetables that I need to use up. Not vegetables, fruits. Let me wash my hands really quick. But you can honestly make this for any meal and it's perfect for a nice cold day. Okay, so there's that. I am going to add some cinnamon and we're going to add some ground cinnamon to this. And cinnamon goes a long way, so I think that's all I'm gonna put for that. So we are going to put it on the stove um, make sure it's boiling um, on medium heat and then I will come back and check in with you guys. So while that is cooking over here on my stove, I'm going to cut up some bananas and our banana and strawberry. So I did <clears throat> clean my strawberries and I'm just going to cut off the tops of them and I'm trying to think of how I want this actually I kind of want to cut that a little more it kind of looks weird there we go so I kind of want I kind of just want them like this actually so we'll just make them kind of whole and then I'll eat the end because <laughs> why not Oh, they're so good. Okay. So we're just going to cut these up. And these are going to go on top of our oatmeal. So my favorite thing about cooking oatmeal is um, that it actually does keep you satiated for a long time. Um... I've mentioned this many times on my YouTube when I do certain food videos is that um, I really am not a cook and I don't cook very often, but kind of learn from like experience, I guess, and just knowledge of <laughs> cooking. Um, by the way, I am just stirring my oatmeal over here. It's starting to boil, so I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. And, okay, there we go. And kind of mash up my banana in here. I probably should have mashed it beforehand, but I didn't. Okay, so now let's go ahead. I think I'm only gonna take half of the banana and just cut them in the same way as I cut the strawberries. It's 
just make it look pretty in the end. Okay, I'll set these aside. My oatmeal is really cooking over here, but it smells so good. Especially from the, um, eh, from the cinnamon I put in here. So I'm going to let this cook. Oh, it looks so good, guys. All right, let me show you. Here, I'll take it off of the burner. This is what it's looking like. Oh, it's steaming. It's steaming. So the oatmeal is officially done, or officially, I say officially for some reason. So I think I probably cooked it about 10 minutes or so, <clears throat> and then I'm going to let it sit in my bowl just to let it get a little bit creamier. And I think adding the banana was a really good idea. Um, so we'll, we'll try that out. Okay. This is like a huge spoon too. I'm not going to use that. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. a little taste test. Super good. It also doesn't help that I really didn't have much today for food. Okay, so I am going to use a packet of stevia because I did not add any sweetener. The banana is kind of sweet, so you honestly really don't need it, but I wanted to add it. So I'm going to stir that in here. I'm sorry if it's steaming the camera up. Okay. Just look how good that looks, guys. All right, so we are going to put our bananas. I feel like I cut up a lot of bananas and strawberries, so I'm going to eat some because I really don't need that many for this little bowl. All right. No, I don't like that one there. Okay. Strawberries. I think I put way too many off. We're just going to add them kind of wherever. It's fun to like add to your food that you made. And if you decorate it, it makes it look a lot prettier. Okay. And then last but not least, I'm going to go back in with that cinnamon, just a little of it, maybe, and sprinkle it over the top. Now, how beautiful does that look? Stick your spoon in it, and you're ready to enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.